Hi guys, welcome back and today I'm just going to show you AI chess, how we can create enemies, sensing pawn. Okay, so let's start. Now first thing you have to just get all the characters from Examo. So this is the character which I selected here. And uh, animation already I gave, just a zombie uh, walk or zombie run you can use. So any, any you can take. So just I have downloaded this from here. I say download. Okay, and uh, go to here back in your uh, uh, Unreal Engine file, and I'll create a new folder inside this. I'll just keep the name Zombie, and uh, import your character, and make sure your uh, animation should be enabled from here. Import animation as well as we want the skeletal mesh right get to here uh, get it here and say import everything and just say save all this time you can see this is the characters right here i can see the animation also physical assets skeletal mesh materials everything is here now one more thing we have to create which is called blueprint class so inside this i'll create a new character and inside the character i'll just keep the name chambi do double click and get the character here so within this component section you will see some options which is the skeletal mesh inside the skeletal mesh i'll keep uh, this character which is our chombi any other character you want to add you can but i uh, just imported that character so i'll just keep this first okay and uh, just get it here so it is touching with uh, you know surface so and make sure your character should be this side only which uh, uh, angle shows the arrow right so just say rotate 90 degree okay so this is the character and uh, the animation also we have imported so go to in the animation class and uh, within this area you will see some option right use animation assets and uh, select that animation which you imported and say compile first and uh, again we'll have to add some components which is called pawn sensing right so i just say sensing and then you will see the pawn sensing right so actually i can see you know uh, like big area and uh, it is going to sense entire you know the level so just first i'll decrease the size of all these okay so go to here in the hearing threshold i just keep a little bit smaller and this also okay and a slightly radius side radius okay and i just say compile right and uh, actually before that before compiling we have to add some blueprints so go to back in the graph so actually in the graph you will see some option but a uh, few these are three you know the basic events and uh, for the sensing just go to here and select the sensing right and in the right hand side you will see some events so inside the events you will see this option which is on c pawn right and uh, on c pawn you can see here and uh, first thing we have to create the variable also so here i say can say enemy okay i just say question mark and this will be our the variable right so actually i say cast to third person character and one more thing we have to attach this pawn should be with object and here i say sequence right in the sequence i'll have to add this you know variable which uh, is the boolean right so this time i just going to keep this here and i say true in the first right and in the second node, again, we will add head, but uh, this will be the false. So here I'm not just going to enable anything. And actually before that, we can add uh, the delay node here. 
so for uh, the delay i just say uh, delay 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 where is the delay delay okay this function delay and uh, here you can keep 0.5 right and uh, actually here i'm just adding ai command right ai move to and here it's going to pawn the self right so this self i say get a reference and the target will be our third person character which is here right connect with this and go to here and check so actually if you are doing the compile then go back to here and uh, within this area we have to add the no mass which is here uh, directly you can search no mesh bound volume okay and if you press p then you will see the volume area right where it's going to pawn so i just say scale and i just increase the area where it's going to move this character okay and just scale it like this okay and uh, save it first go to here and just keep it your character within this area now the thing is we have to rotate this character this side because my character is this right and this is the zombie so this zombie should look that side only so just say rotate that way only okay just keep it here and if our character means the third person character will come here and then this character is going to chase okay so the thing is say play and uh, if i just see character is walking oh now see you can see our character is following okay so actually i want to do something more on it i just want to uh, add some random commands here so just keep it little bit in the town and here you will see this option which is called the event tick right so i just say get this and i say branch node okay i'll just get the branch node so that i can apply the condition over here so condition means this actually not boolean just we have to add not boolean right so this not boolean is going to work like this so the thing is here if i just added this branch node here add one more command which is called delay right in the delay command i'll say a random float in range i just want to keep the minimum and maximum value and minimum value will be 2 and here i just say 5 okay and again i'll uh, add that that same command which is the ai move to here and uh, this pawn is going to again uh, pawn the self right so this self will be here and uh, this destination okay i'll just add one more command which is called get a random reachable point radius so i can decide the radius i just say 400 this time okay and original keep get character uh sorry actor location right so these things just i inserted here and now go to back and check everything is it proper or not so go to in the third person and first save it everything okay save all and now check just play and check our character is randomly moving or not so yes now oh it's coming coming up going okay so if that character is going this side see now character is going to chase so this is the command which we done okay and okay so this was 
the ai chase which i just explained if any queries related to this please message me or uh, mention in com uh, comments i'll check okay thank you guys bye bye